Khwarizm, or Chorasmia Persian, Khwarizm is a large oasis region on the Amu Darya River Delta in western Central Asia, bordered on the north by the former Aral Sea, on the east by the Kizilkum Desert, on the south by the Karakum Desert, and on the west by the Ustjurt Plateau. It was the center of the Iranian Khwarizmian civilization, and a series of kingdoms such as the Persian Empire, whose capitals were among others Kath, Gurganj the modern Konerhens, and, from the 16th century on, Kiva. Today Khwarizm belongs partly to Uzbekistan, partly to Kazakhstan and partly to Turkmenistan. <laughs> Names and etymology Names <laughs> 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 Khwarizm has been known also as Chorasmia, Khwarizm, Khwarizmia, Khwarizm, 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 and Chorizm. In Avestan, the name is X Verizm. In Old Persian, Huwarazmish. In Modern Persian, Khwarizm Shverizm. In Arabic, Khwarizm Zuwarizm. In Old Chinese, Q Almri. Hu Shimi. In Modern Chinese, Hualazimo, Walazimo Shaurjing. Qualatum in Tajik, Horizm Zurzum, Karizm in Kazakh, Horizm Zorezm, Wurzm in Uzbek, Zurzm, Horizm Khwarizm in Turkmen, Horizm, Horizm Krizm in Turkish, Harzm, in Greek language Chorasmia and Khorasima by Herodotus. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The Arab geographer Yaqat al Hamawi in his Mu Gam al Buldan wrote that the name was a Persian compound of Khwar, Khwar, and Razm, Urzm, referring to the abundance of cooked fish as a main diet of the peoples of this area. C.E. Bosworth, however, believed the Persian name to be made up of Xor, the sun, and Zam, earth, land, designating the land from which the sun rises, although a similar etymology is also given for Khurasan. Another view is that the Iranian compound stands for lowland from khwr low and zam land Khwarizm is indeed the lowest region in Central Asia except for the Caspian Sea to the far west located on the delta of the Amu Darya on the southern shores of the Aral Sea Various forms of khwar kar khor hor are commonly used also in the Persian Gulf to stand for tidal flats marshland or tidal bays e.g. khor musa khor abdallah hor al azim hor al haimar etc The name also appears in Achaemenid inscriptions as Huvarazmish, which is declared to be part of the Persian Empire some of the early scholars believed Khwarizm to be what ancient Avestic texts refer to as Arianum Veja, Aryan Awege, later Middle Persian Iran Vij. These sources claim that Old Urgench, which was the capital of ancient Khwarizm for many years, was actually Oerva, the eighth land of Ahura Mazda mentioned in the Pahlavi text of Vendidad. However, Michael Witzel, a researcher in early Indo-European history, believes that Arianum Veja was located in what is now Afghanistan, the northern areas of which were a part of ancient Khwarizm and Greater Khorasan. Others, however, disagree. University of Hawaii historian Elton L. Daniel believes Khwarizm to be the most likely locale, corresponding to the original home of the Avestan people, and Dakota calls Khwarizm the cradle of the Aryan tribe. Mid-Qum Arya. Topic. Legendary history Topic. Al Biruni, a native speaker of Chorasmian, an Iranian language, says that the land belonging to the mythical king of Frasiab was first colonized 980 years before Alexander the Great. The C. 1292 BC, well before the Seleucid era when the hero of the Iranian epic Siavash came to Khwarizm, his son K. Khusra came to the throne 92 years later, in 1200 BC. Al-Biruni starts giving names only with the Afrigid line of Khwaramshas, having placed the ascension of Afrigids in 616 of the Seleucid era, i.e. in 305 AD. Early people Topic. 
Like Sadhyana, Khwarism was an expansion of the BMAC culture during the Bronze Age which later fused with Indo-Iranians during their migrations around 1000 BC. Early Iron Age states arose from this cultural exchange. List of successive cultures in Khwarism region 3000 500 BC Keltimanar culture c. 3000 BC Suyargan culture c. 2000 BC Tazabagiyab culture c. 1500 BC Amirabad culture c. 1000 BC Sakha c. 500 BC During the final Sakha phase, there were about 400 settlements in Khwarezm, ruled by the native Afrigid dynasty. It was at this point that Khwarezm entered the historical record with the Achaemenid expansion. Khwarezmian language and culture An East Iranian language, known as Khwarezmian language, was spoken in Khwarezm proper i.e., the lower Amu Darya region until soon after the Mongol invasion, when it was replaced by Turkic languages. It was closely related to Sogdian. Other than the astronomical terms used by the native Iranian Chorazmian speaker al Biruni, our other sources of Khwarezmian include Zamakshari's Arabic Persian Khwarezmian dictionary and several legal texts that use Khwarezmian terms to explain certain legal concepts. In the very early part of its history, the inhabitants of the area were from Iranian stock and they spoke an Eastern Iranian language called Khwarezmian. The famous scientist Al Biruni, a Khwarezm native, in his Athar ul Baqiya, specifically verifies the Iranian origins of Khwarezmians when he wrote in Arabic, Al Khwarezm Khanwa Sla Mn Dwart The people of the Khwarezm were a branch from Persian tree. The area of Khwarezm was under Afrigid and then Samanid control until the 10th century before it was conquered by the Ghaznavids. The Iranian Chorazmian language and culture felt the pressure of Turkic infiltration from northern Khwarezm southwards, leading to the disappearance of the original Iranian character of the province and its complete Turkicization today, but Khwarezmian speech probably lasted in Upper Khwarezm, the region round Hazarasp, till the end of the 8th, 14th century. The Iranian Chorazmian language survived for several centuries after Islam until the Turkification of the region, and so must some at least of the culture and lore of ancient Khwarezm, for it is hard to see the command standing figure of al-Biruni, repository of so much knowledge, appearing in a cultural vacuum. <laughs> Achaemenid, Parthian and Sassanid era Sometime before the Achaemenid king Cyrus the Great's death in 530 BC, he had conquered Khwarezm. While he was dying, he appointed his son Smerdis, Bardia as the governor of the region, along with Bactriana, Carmania, and the other eastern provinces of the empire. And the Persian poet Ferdowsi mentions Persian cities like Afrasiab and Chalk in abundance in his epic Shahnama. When the king of Khwarezm offered friendship to Alexander the Great in 328 BC, Alexander S. Greek and Roman biographers imagined the nomad king of a desert waste, but 20th century Russian archaeologists revealed the region as a stable and centralized kingdom, a land of agriculture to the east of the Aral Sea, surrounded by the nomads of Central Asia, protected by its army of mailed horsemen, in the most powerful kingdom northwest of the Amu Darya, the Oxus River of Antiquity. The king S. Emissary offered to lead Alexander's armies against his own enemies, west over the Caspian towards the Black Sea, e.g., Kingdom of Iberia and Colchis. Alexander politely refused. Although largely independent during the Seleucid, Bactrian, and Arsacid dynasties, it is known that Khwarezm and neighboring Bactriana were part of the Sassanid Empire during the time of Bahram II. Yaqat al Hamawi verifies that Khwarezm was a regional capital of the Sassanid Empire. When speaking of the pre-Islamic Khosrau of Khwarezm, Kir Khwarezm the Islamic Amir of Khwarezm, Amir Khwarezm or even the Khwarezmid Empire, sources such as Al-Biruni and Ibn Khordadba and others clearly refer to Khwarezm as being part of the Iranian Persian Empire. The fact that Pahlavi script which was used by the Persian bureaucracy alongside Old Persian, passed into use in Khwarezmia where it served as the first local alphabet about the AD 2nd century, as well as evidence that Khwarezm shahs such as Allah al-Din Takish issued all their orders both administrative and public in Persian language, corroborates al-Biruni's claims. 
It was also a vassal kingdom during periods of Kushans, Hephthalites and Gokturk's power before the coming of the Arabs. Afrigids <inaudible> 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 The Afrigids al were a native Chorasmian I. G. Iranian dynasty which ruled over the kingdom of Khwarezm according to al -Biruni from 305 until 995 AD. Sometimes it was under Sassanid control. In 712 Khwarezm was conquered by the Arab Umayyads. It thus came vaguely under Muslim suzerainty, but it was not until the end of the 8th century or the beginning of the 9th century that an Afrigid Shah was first converted to Islam appearing with the popular convert's name of Abdallah slave of God. In the course of the 10th century, when some geographers such as Istakri in his Al-Masalik wa al-Mamalik mention Khwarezm as part of Khorasan and Transoxiana, the local family of the Maimunids who were based in Gurganj, on the left bank of the Amu Darya grew in economic and political importance due to trade caravans. In 995, they violently overthrew the Afrigids of Kath and themselves assumed the traditional title of Khwarezm Shah. Briefly, the area was under Samanid suzerainty, before it passed to Mahmud of Ghazna in 1017. From then on, Turco-Mongolian invasions and long rule by Turco-Mongol dynasties supplanted the Iranian character of the region although the title of Khwarezm Shah was maintained well up to the 13th century. <laughs> Khwarezmid Empire the Khwarezmid Empire was founded in the 12th century. It became a vassal of the Kara Khitan Khanate after Yelu Dashi won the Battle of Katwan against a Seljuk army commanded by Sinjar. Kara Khitan suzerainty weakened later. The Khwarezmid Empire ruled over all of Persia in the early 13th century under Shah al al Din Muhammad II. From 1218 to 1220, Genghis Khan conquered Central Asia including the Kara Khitan Khanate, thus ending the Khwarezmid Empire. Sultan Muhammad died after retreating from the Mongols near the Caspian Sea, while his son Jalal ad-Din, after being defeated by Genghis Khan at the Battle of Indus, sought refuge with the Delhi Sultanate, and was later assassinated after various attempts to defeat the Mongols and the Seljuks. <laughs> Modern age. The region of Khwarezm was split between the White Horde and Jagatai Khanate, and its rebuilt capital Gurganj modern Kunya Urgenj, Old Gorganj, as against the modern city of Urgenj some distance away again became one of the largest and most important trading centers in Central Asia. In the mid-14th century Khwarezm gained independence from the Golden Horde under the Sufid dynasty. However, Timur regarded Khwarezm as a rival to Samarkand, and over the course of five campaigns, he destroyed Urganj completely in 1388. This together with a shift in the course of the Amu Darya caused the center of Khwarezm to shift to Kiva, which became in the 16th century the capital of the Khanate of Kiva, ruled over by the dynasty of the Arab Shahids. The rumors of gold on the banks of the Amu Darya during the reign of Russia's Peter the Great, together with the desire of the Russian Empire to open a trade route to the Indus modern-day Pakistan, prompted an armed trade expedition to the region, led by Prince Alexander Bekovich Cherkasky, which was repelled by Kiva. It was under Tsars Alexander II and Alexander III that serious efforts to annex the region started. One of the main pretexts to Russian military expeditions to Kiva was to free Russian slaves in the Khanate and to prevent future slave capture and trade. Early in the Great Game, Russian interests in the region collided with those of the British Empire in the First Anglo-Afghan War in 1839. The Khanate of Kiva was gradually reduced in size from Russian expansion in Turkestan including and, in 1873, a peace treaty was signed that established Kiva as a quasi-independent Russian protectorate. After the Bolshevik seizure of power in the October Revolution, a short-lived Khorizm People's Soviet Republic later the Khorizm SSR was created out of the territory of the old Khanate of Kiva, before in 1924 it was finally incorporated into the Soviet Union, with the former Khanate divided between the new Turkmen SSR, Uzbek SSR and Karakalpakstan ASSR initially part of Kazakh ASSR as Karakalpak Oblast. The larger historical area of Khwarezm is further divided. Northern Khwarezm became the Uzbek SSR, and in 1925 the western part became the Turkmen SSR. 
Also, in 1936 northwestern part became Kazakh SSR. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, these became Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan respectively. Many of the ancient Khwarezmian towns are situated currently in Zerzum province, Uzbekistan. Today, the area that was Khwarezm has a mixed population of Uzbeks, Karakalpaks, Turkmens, Tajiks, Tatars, and Kazakhs. In Persian literature Khwarezm and her cities appear in Persian literature in abundance, in both prose and poetry. Dekoda for example defines the name Bukhara itself as, "...full of knowledge", referring to the fact that in antiquity, Bukhara was a scientific and scholarship powerhouse. Rumi verifies this when he praises the city as such, other examples illustrate the eminent status of Khwarezmid and Transoxianian cities in Persian literature in the past 1,500 years. Am Janabur a Kur Shnank the world of hearts is under his power in the same manner that dwelt Khwartsemshah Dad John Ra Khur. The Khwaramshas have brought peace to the world. Kakani Shirvani Iki prtm pish Khwartsemshah a greedy one went to Khwarezmshah Shnidam Kach Shard Bamdadi Parga. Early one morning, so I have heard Saadi Yaqat al Hamawi, who visited Khwarezm and its capital in 1219, wrote, I have never seen a city more wealthy and beautiful than Gurganj. The city, however, was destroyed during several invasions, in particular when the Mongol army broke the dams of the Amu Darya, which flooded the city. He reports that for every Mongol soldier, four inhabitants of Gurganj were killed. Najmeddin Kubra, the great Sufi master, was among the casualties. The Mongol army that devastated Gurganj was estimated to have been near 80,000 soldiers. The verse below refers to an early previous calamity that fell upon the region. Akar i Kok Krasan Dad Eastant Nijat O Land of Khorasan. God has saved you. As Blay Gert Kok Rach Gurganj W Kat from the disaster that befell the land of Gurganj and Kath. Divan of Anvari. Nevertheless, the beauty and fame of Bukhara and Samarkand are well known in Persian literature. The following famous cosmopolitan ode perhaps best provides a notable example of this Agen Trik Shirazi, Dist Ard Dl Ma Ra If that Shirazi Turk can win my heart Kal Hindwish Bisham Smurg W Bukhara Ra I would sell even the jewel cities of Samarkand and Bukhara for the Indian mole on her cheek. Hafiz Legend has it that Tamerlane sent for Hafiz regarding this verse and asked angrily, "'Are you he who was so bold as to offer my two great cities Samarkand and Bukhara for the mole on thy mistress's cheek?" Hafiz then replied, "'Yes, sire, and it is by such acts of generosity that I have brought myself to such a state of destitution that I have now to solicit your bounty." Tamerlane is written to have been so pleased at his ready wit that he dismissed the poet with a handsome present. Notable people The following either hail from Khwarezm, or lived and are buried there Zoroaster aka Zarathustra, prophet and founder of the religion of Zoroastrianism Al-Biruni, outstanding scholar Maimon II, Khwarezm Shah and founder of an academy Najm al-Din Kubra, Sufi mystic Rashid al-Din Vatvat, panegyrist and epistolographer Thakur al-Din Razi Allah al-Din Atsis, Khwarezm Shah Allah al-Din Muhammad, Khwarezm Shah Jalal ad-Din Menguberdi, Khwarezm Shah Abu el-Hasan Sah, Ida ibn Sah Day, commentary writer on the writings of Sibawe. Abaaq al-Khwarezmi Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi, mathematician, for whom the term algorithm is named. Muhammad ibn Ahmad al Khwarizmi, 10th century encyclopedist who wrote Mafada al Ulam, Key to the Sciences. 
Zamakshari, scholar Qutb al Zaman Muhammad ibn Abu Tahir Marvazi, philosopher al Marwazi, astronomer Mahmud Yalavash, ambassador and governor of Mavaranar Abu el Ghazi Bahadur, Khan and historian Ras Tarkhan, a mercenary leader of the Khazars. See also Zoroaster Zoroastrianism, Khwarezmian language, Khorizm People's Soviet Republic, Khwarezmian Empire, Karet Uar Eurasian Avars, Karakalpakstan, Mount Imian Khoi Kralgan Kala topic References topic topic Source topic Yuri Bregel. The Sertz in the Khanate of Kiva, Journal of Asian History, Vol. 12, 1978, pp. 121–151 Robin Lane, Fox. Alexander the Great, pp. 308 ff etc. Shir Muhammad Mirab Muniz and Muhammad Reza Mirab Agahi. Firdaz al-Iqbal. History of Khorizm Leiden, Brill 1999, Trans and ed. Yuri Bregel Minardi, M. 2015. Ancient Chorasmia. A polity between the semi nomadic and sedentary cultural areas of Central Asia. Cultural interactions and local developments from the 6th century BC to the 1st century AD. Peters. ISBN 978 90 429 3138 1. West, Barbara A. January 1, 2009. Encyclopedia of the Peoples of Asia and Oceania. Infobase Publishing. ISBN 1438119135. Hoffman, Ernst Jan. 1989. External links Jonah Lendering, Chorasmia, on the ancient history of Khwarezmia e. Narazic on Central Asia in the early Middle Ages.